The big question is, when are we going to get a break? Well, today, Same. another wet day okay. out there. So a lot of what you saw, we still have a flood watch in effect until tonight. So certainly could see another round of rain. But mm -hmm. then as we go into the work week, things improve. Great, I know, just bad timing, week, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can have your lunch outside. I don't know. There you go. Let's go ahead and take you right now to the gray skies hanging over Miami this morning. This is Biscayne Bay. And yes, you can see not a whole lot of sunshine here. We actually had a gorgeous sunrise this morning. Tons of pink and red in the sky. But you know what they say about that when you have red in the sky early in the day, it tends to lead to a little bit of activity in the afternoon. Here's this flood watch through, of course, uh, this evening. So Saturday and Sunday, we've seen that. And you can see now real-time Doppler radar showing not a whole lot going on here. A little bit of moisture in Broward County, but this is where all of the shower activity is. Heavy rain currently pushing in towards Naples and Fort Myers. And all of this is going to continue to move in as we head into the afternoon. More moisture here working its way over by one to o'clock just like we saw yesterday and so the likelihood of you seeing heavier rain likely going to be in the afternoon and evening again i do think a lot of the heaviest stuff is going to stay back out towards the west but we still could see more rain in an already saturated ground so hopefully by monday around lunch just a few isolated showers and if you may continue into the afternoon by Tuesday we really return to a drier more normal summertime pattern out there so you can see the models not that aggressive with rainfall Oakland Park maybe just over a half an inch Fort Lauderdale about three tenths of an inch certainly these can change but generally we're hopefully done with the heaviest stuff outside right now we're looking at 70s in Pompano Beach and Fort Lauderdale 77 in Miami and 82 currently for the Keys you'll notice later this afternoon not going to quite hit the 90 degree mark because of the cloud cover. Some heavy downpours once again possible. Winds from the southwest between 5 and 15. This is important because these southwesterly winds are what is tapping into all that deep moisture and that will change tomorrow into Tuesday. Mariners, things look okay for you. Two foot seas, light chop on the bays and overnight tonight, 79 drying out and pretty cloudy. And of course, although we are going to be drying out here, those poor folks in Texas not going to be drying out anytime soon. You can see the latest track pushes it as a disturbance straight up through Houston through Wednesday into Thursday. They could still see another 6 to 10 inches and some spots could see 15 to 25 inches of rain as we go through the week. So bad news there. Tropical storm warnings in effect, storm surge warnings in effect, flash flood warnings in effect, and a tornado watch. And not only that, but we're also watching once again this deep plummet, this plume here of moisture as it's going to push off into the Atlantic. Could end up looking like a tropical storm or something bad for the Carolinas in the coming days. Here we warm up steadily as we head into next week with a little more sunshine.